That's but it. It, it boils down to that sense of um, purpose, right? Yeah. What I was talking about with respect to sense of purpose. Why exactly am I doing this? You know, I always talk about mindset, if you've noticed. Mm. Yeah. I'm always like, it, the mind is powerful, right? NF said the mind is a powerful place. And what you do with it can affect you in a powerful way. And it is very true, right? Because so many people are actually learning, you know, platforms like Ingressive for Good, um, platforms like um, Data Camp, several data platforms actually right now in the country are empowering thousands, hundreds of thousands of young people with data skills. But why do you want to study data analysis? Mm. Why do you want to study data science? Tech is booming. It's a window for me to jackpa. It's an opportunity for me to escape. I need this. The, the reasons are different, right? My friend Steven uploaded his status two days ago, and he was like, can we stop celebrating um, work anniversaries in big tech companies and start looking for ways to create more functional tech companies that will employ more people? Because the truth is, my research is showing me that we're having more talents in the tech space in Nigeria. Yeah. More than the platforms to absorb these people. That's scary, right? And it's part of the reasons that I'm writing the content that I'm writing now on creating um, why we are not like technology producers, you know, yeah. why we are consumers. That's the same thing with respect to what you're saying now about the data space, right? Yeah. If young people can see that, okay, the defense sector, the finance sector, the healthcare sector, there's everywhere, the, the everywhere, solutions, right? And where I've learned how to become, um, how to analyze data, I've learned data science, I've learned this, I've learned that. I want to create a startup on data collection in Nigeria, even if it is just for my local government, even if it is just for one sector of the economy, and begin to work towards it's difficult, but it's doable. I always no, say it's see, hard, but it can happen, right? Yes. So it all boils down to the mind. And that is why we keep giving that instrument of information to young people to make them understand that we have a lot of, oh my God, there is boundless opportunities in Africa. We yeah. have myriads of opportunities to scale. I know that we have a lot of systems in place that are making these opportunities difficult to access. Yes, but we must break through. Like we have to push in if we must break through. And we can. Yeah. Truth is we can, right? Yeah. So what I normally encourage is, you know, you were speaking about reading the other time and I wanted mm -hmm. to mention it. Um, and I guess what billions, right? We have the bridge program. The bridge program is, in short, part of the key activities of the bridge program is book reading, monthly book reading, four yeah. books every month, one every week. You are followed up, you are backed up, you, are, you have a mentor, you have a coach that is guiding you through your reading you know, journey to ensure that you gain value from it. Um, Fronesis, my friend is the founder of Fronesis. Um, Fronesis is a reader's club. Fronesis okay. is a reader's club, right? You should, you should actually check him out. Yeah, um, yeah. Daniel Okafor, he's good. His community is expanding. See, um, I, 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 see I want him on, on the podcast to talk, to talk about that. Yeah. Daniel Okafor, you can check him out. He's yeah. good. No, no, you, you, you tell him. You tell him and then give me his, yeah. That's yeah. fine. Perfect. I'm Good. going to do that. It's Good. completely fine, right? So then... Um, the reading club, I want. I, I See, I want to encourage people to read. Yes. In fact, I have to, right? A male and a female. There's okay. Daniel Okafor um, for Fronesis Readers Club. Then there's Grace Field. Grace Field is the founder at Glee Readers Club, right? Okay. So Very good. they are doing amazing work. They make reading fun, right? For a lot of young people. Okay, so it's exciting. Why I brought this up is to encourage us, you know, yourself yeah. and the listeners on the platform that things are happening. Information and awareness is becoming more and more an instrument for us to drive the change. Yeah. And we can't just stop. We have to keep giving it in. We have to keep pushing. We have to keep spreading the word that 
this is the path to our growth and development and we mm. must work it right yeah. Yeah. and with that i'm very sure we'll do well i am looking forward to having a recap in the next five years right okay. i can tell you what happened in 2017 when i started right and this is 2023 yeah so it's it's been a long journey yeah and it's more like you know when it when when an airplane is trying to take off you need to gain a lot of momentum mm -hmm. before you take off and you begin to glide and i'm just so excited about the future it looks so bleak right now to a lot of people who don't see what i'm seeing yeah but i'm really excited about the future right young people are going to shock the world i mean young africans they are going to shock the world these guys their ideas are crazy we are no longer waiting for the systems to favor us we are creating systems that we favor us we are going out of the bands of our reach to expand our work to ensure that we are bringing other people to come and join what we're doing and it's only a matter of time before it becomes a wildfire and i'm so excited and I'm grateful to God for the privilege he granted me to be able to cash in on time to this, you know, opportunity to impact, you know, the life of young people. Yeah. Because it is, it is key. It is really key, right? It is really, really key. So I, I keep encouraging young people anywhere, you know. I say, it seems like your work is not noticed now. Trust me, you're sowing a seed that will live forever. The yeah. two, three people in your community, the four, five people that you've been able to influence, you've been able to impact, you don't even know the potential and capacity of these people, right? So just keep giving it your best. Keep doing what you have to do. Over, over time, it will shock you as to how much progress you've made. Yeah. Yeah.